Students will be getting their end of year results in July, and some of you may be considering appealing these results. We have put together this video and an online guide to help you understand what academic appeals are all about and to help you navigate through the process. We will also explain a bit about the SU Advice Service and what you can expect when you reach out to us. Academic appeal is an official college procedure for students to challenge their academic assessment results. This could include marks, progression decisions and degree classifications. Simply put, if someone has affected your academic performance and you have not achieved the mark you expected, you may be able to appeal. The academic appeal procedure has three stages. You will need to have a valid ground to appeal. In stage one, the informal resolution stage, you're encouraged to contact your department to seek clarification of assessment outcomes and discuss any concerns you have. The department can explain how the assessment outcomes came about and what may be achievable if you decide to submit a, step, a formal stage two appeal. Formal stage two appeal can only be submitted after your transcript of results has been released. You'll need to meet valid grounds to appeal formally and you must submit your stage to appeal within 21 days of your transcript being released. We will explain stage two in more detail later in the video. At the end of stage two, you will receive a formal outcome letter from the college the outcome would be either that your appeal is upheld, successful, or it is dismissed. If you're unhappy with the outcome, you may go for a stage three to request a final internal panel review of your appeal. At the end of stage three, if you are unhappy with the college's decision, you may be able to take your appeal to the Higher Education Ombudsman, the Office of the Independent Adjudicator, known as the OIA for an independent review. You will need to complete and submit the stage to appeal form, which can be found on the Goldsmiths website. On the website, you will also find guidance on how to complete the form and the stage two process overview. We recommend you give it a read. When filling out the form, you need to explain the grounds of your appeal. You must submit the form within 21 days of your transcript being published in order for the college to consider your case. We encourage you to retain a copy of your stage two appeal. The college will only accept an appeal if it meets certain criteria. These criteria are known as grounds for appeal. Under the college regulations, there are three permissible grounds extenuating circumstances not disclosed earlier. Goldsmith defines extenuating circumstances as short-term, unexpected and unpreventable events that affect your academic performance or ability to study. The categories of EC recognised by the college can be found on the categories of acceptable and unacceptable extenuating circumstances webpage. Other grounds are administrative error or procedural irregularity. Some examples of administrative errors are miscalculations of degree classifications, wrong module mark recorded or penalty cap applied incorrectly. Procedural irregularities may relate to irregularity in ways an assessment was set up or in the marking process. For example, whether a piece of work was marked following the college marking procedure and feedback policy. The final ground is evidence of prejudice or bias by examiners. Bias can be personal dislike or prejudice against a protected characteristic. To appeal under this ground, you need evidence to show that an examiner's marking has been affected by prejudice or bias. You must meet one or more of the three grounds to appeal formally. 
We therefore recommend you read the College Academic Appeal Guide and our SU Online Guide to better familiarise yourself with these grounds. It is important to remember that an appeal will not be considered valid if you are questioning academic judgment. An example of this would be if you simply disagree with the mark you are given. Having a borderline degree classification is not in itself a valid ground of appeal either, and you would still need at least one of the three grounds to be present. You may feel that a number of issues that are not grounds for appeal have affected your academic performance and want to make a complaint as well as an appeal. A stage two appeal submitted outside the 21 day window will normally not be accepted by the college. If you've missed the deadline when you submit your appeal form, you will need to give clear reasons why you're unable to engage with the appeal procedure within the prescribed time frame and provide evidence to support your reasons. The college will exercise discretion to accept the late appeal, but there is no guarantee. This year, undergraduate and postgraduate transcripts will be published on a rolling basis from Monday the 5th of July to Friday the 23rd of July 2021. The assessments team will send a notification to your Goldsmiths email when your transcript is available on my Goldsmiths, so keep your eyes peeled. You will be able to request academic Academic related outcomes such as removing a penalty cap or retake reset, having an additional attempt at an assessment, changing individual module marks and or a degree classification. Your stage two appeal form first goes to the appeals and complaints team who will check if you have valid grounds for appeal. If they decide that your appeal is valid, they will forward your appeal to the chair of the board of examiners in your department. The chair will decide on your appeal based on the relevant college regulations, policies and procedures. Once the chair has made a decision, the appeal and complaints team will issue you a stage two appeal outcome letter to inform you of the outcome. The outcome would be either that your appeal is upheld, successful or dismissed. The college aims to give a decision on a stage two appeal within four to six weeks of your appeal submission. If your appeal outcomes are time sensitive, for example, relating to late summer retakes or progression issues, you can ask the college to prioritize your appeal when you fill out the appeal form. The SU advice service would be happy to speak with you on a one-to-one -one basis. The advice and support we can offer includes advising you on the overall appeal procedures and your responsibility, so you know what to expect, giving suggestions on how to complete the stage two appeal form and the relevant information and evidence to include based on your specific circumstances, advising you on the content of your appeal, advising you on the college regulations, policies and procedures that may apply to you, helping you to interpret your transcript in some circumstances, reviewing your appeal draft, and finally, signposting you to relevant support services. It is important to remember that there are some things we are unable to help you with, including engaging in stage one appeal with your department on your behalf, writing your appeal for you, telling you if you should appeal or not, this is your personal decision, making the college give you the appeal outcomes you request, making the college fast track your appeal, and telling you what your appeal outcome will be. From July, we're running a same day appointment system for students who need advice on a formal appeal. We offer one-to-one -one appointments on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Here is a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to access our services. Step one, watch our video and read the SU Advice Service online guide on academic appeal. Step two, Fill out the SU Advice Service contact form so we have your contact details and basic information. Step three, 
on the day when you are available for an appointment, phone the SU at 020-7717-2511 for an appointment slot. We advise you to phone us for an appointment as early in the day as possible on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, as these are the days we offer same day appointments and the available slots are limited. Before you reach out to us, it will be helpful to ask yourself the following. Do I have a transcript of results? A transcript is a form of publication of your assessment results in an academic year. You can find yours on my Goldsmiths. When was my transcript released? You should be able to find the release date on your transcript. Which assessment results do I want to appeal against? Do I have some ideas on which appeal grounds that may apply to me? Remember, there are three grounds for appeal and you must meet at least one. And what are the appeal outcomes I'm seeking? These questions can help you decide whether you're ready, eligible for a formal stage two appeal and give you some ideas on what your appeal is about. It would also be helpful for you to check our guide for our common frequently asked questions. These can be provided to you by just clicking here for the SEO Advice Appeal Guide.